Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SEL R-Line Black Edition 4 Motion Turbo. This particular one is pure gray on the exterior with tight and black leather at interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors, LED headlights, turn signals, running lights, and reverse lights. The front two turn signals are incandescent. The LED lights, uh, running lights, line up to the middle rib the grill is all blacked out here the only chrome you see on the front is the logo and also the r the edges of the r there the black continues into the headlights black air intakes down at the bottom that gloss black or piano black down there black mirror caps black roof rails black r-line badging on the quarter panel nice bold line down the side black 20 inch alloy wheels black accents at the bottom with body colored paint below the black accents and that continues into the bumper black window surrounds the atlas name badge is black with raised chrome letters here under the volkswagen logo oversized reflector down here and faux quad exhaust tips on either side here or on just two on each side there absent is a tow hitch on this one because this is a four-cylinder turbo it does not come standard with a uh, tow hitch Let's take a look inside. It says Crossport on the side here. I think I said our line, but it's actually Crossport there. As we open the door here, you're gonna have this gray door inset right here with the triple contrast stitch. The arm pad trimmed out in gray as well. Silver tips on the window switches. A stainless steel scuff plate down here. Lumbar power right here and forward back up and down here and then seat back adjust here. Three seat memory right here on the side. A, a double contrast stitch on the edge of the bolster here that goes up behind the shoulders here a double contrast stitch in the headrest as well with the manually adjusted button right there the armrest also has a double contrast stitch on it right there and then you look into the back seat there two car seat hookups on the two outboard seats a fold down armrest in the middle and adjustable headrests on all three seats as we step into the car here you'll notice right away Volkswagen's digital cockpit right here there are uh, your temperature gauge over here your fuel gauge on the right there is your dial screen your widescreen and your crop screen flat silver finish it comes around the door here the carbon fiber finish here in a door panel right here uh, that continues across the vents around the stereo over to the other side you have a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel that's heated right here on the top right corner here song skip and preset skip right here volume control over here on the left it's an adjustable steering wheel i can pull out push in raise it lower it lock it where i need it and then set it and then i also have a um, coin box for storage right here automatic headlights right here i can actually pull out on this to pull to turn on the poor weather lights which replace fogs this guy will light up when those are on this also defeats the automatic on off uh, feature uh, for the auto even though it's turned to auto so you want to make sure you push that in and then go back to the auto on off over here on the radio gesture control on this guy here as long as you see that hand right there you've got gesture control there you can wave your hand in front whoops i hit the knob there that'll freak people out gesture control here it it wants to do it i'm pro i promise you it'll do it there you go and then you do also have um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and MirrorLink available to you on this system here wirelessly. And then you do also get Nav on this particular car. I'll put it on the screen over there so you can see it. I can check that box there. And it brings Nav over here. So now you can see what I'm talking about, about a crop screen, a dial screen, and a wide screen. And you can zoom in and out using the up and down arrow right there. And then you have a backup camera here. Trajectory steering right there. I can turn the wheel left. The yellow line moves accordingly, turn the wheel right, same. And then the red line signifies where the bumper is. Green signifies straight back. And then that shuts that off. Also, you have heated seats for both driver and passenger. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off on both sides. Dual zone climate control here. So you can control, um, uh, left seat and right seat are basically driver and passenger seats up front 
um, max defrost here, rear defrost here. Uh, this touch, this brings up the touch screen menu for climate control. I can adjust the fan here. If you enjoy putting fingerprints on your screen, you'll use this method more. And then you also have air care where I can actually check that box there. That's the air filtration system. A little blue line will show up here and it will expand as it progresses, uh, showing you progress of the, uh, the scrubbing, the air filtration. It filters out the outside air before it circulates it in a cabin. Uh, so any stinky smells like skunks or landfills or things like that, you don't smell in a car. Storage bin up here. Lots of room there for storage of, the, of items. And then you also, in this particular one, have this home link mirror here with the three-door garage door memory and also a Bluetooth button there and digital compass up there. A vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. You have that for both driver and passenger. And also, notice the black headliner here. The sunshade is also black to match. To open that, I hit the button right here. That opens the sunshade and I push this slider to open the sunroof. This pane of glass stacks on top of that one, pop-up sunscreen right there, or windscreen, excuse me. And now you have glass over both rows of passengers. Over here on this side here, more of that carbon fiber finish. The glove box is right here. You have your manuals right there and tire, tire warranties are in a Ziploc bag there. And you also have seat belt clip protectors right here. It looks like you got two of them here. You got a bonus pair in this one. There's a look at that door inset over there. Uh, bottle storage and cup storage in the doors as well. And the passenger side seat up front, same scuff plate and you have power buttons right here to move the seat forward and back, up and down. Um, you do also get that wireless charging down here um, for the uh, cell phone there. It'll charge through the case in most cases. Two USB-Cs that are backlit right here that you can see at night and then a 12 volt charger port right there. I'm using the spare key on this one right now. So this is the bougie key. This is the key that the wife gets. This is the key that only the wife gets. The husband gets the all black key. You get one of each. This one weighs a little bit more, maybe an ounce or two heavier than the other one. Nice chrome on the top and the bottom. The Ardeon and the Atlas and Atlas Crossboard all come with these key setups. Um, this is important. This is the wife's key. The husband gets the all black key. That's the commoner's key. The pinch, the... Uh, peasant's key so the husband's key that's how it works all right start stop button right here electronic parking brake right there you just lift up to activate and i put my foot on the brake and push down to release the all-wheel drive nature of the car here i can turn it to snow mode i get that button right there or that screen right there and then i also have eco normal sport and custom and i'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and shut this sunroof here it's letting in a lot of glare and then i also have off-road and off-road custom and off-road custom is going to allow me to tweak different things here so i can turn things on and off and also um uh add off-road or normal and then there's sport mode or normal there and then drivetrain off-road or normal so i can do all that stuff right there and i'm going to turn this back to the roadway here storage bin right here USB-C in here as well. Nice deep storage here. You can get a medium sized purse in here easily. There's also a drop in safe that bolts in here where you can uh, store a firearm or something like that. A small firearm, of course, um, or valuables of any kind. If you're concealed carry, that's why I mentioned the firearm. We're in a state that has concealed carry. Um, nice arm pad here. Nice and smooth there. That's leatherette. The cup holders. There's a cup holder light right here so you can see them at night so you can see where you're putting your cup um, they're set far enough apart where you're not going to have the lids bumping together this one does also have park assist and a 360 camera okay this seems like a fluke to me uh you're not supposed to have this button here this is wow this is an anomaly it's a 360 camera this this has buttons for an sel premium R line and it's an SEL. I just caught that. Okay, so these are anomalies. This does not have a 360 camera. It just brings up the park distance camera right there, and this button does nothing here because that's park assist. Interesting. The post COVID world strikes again. So that doesn't do anything there. Let's take a look at the back seat. This one comes in at 49,376. Extras on this one include 395 for the pure gray exterior, 405 for the auto dimming rear view mirror with a four year subscription, 295 for monster mats, uh, 
for the uh, front end, uh, front row and second row. 235 for uh, VW Care gives you a third year pre prepaid maintenance. Uh, and then the privacy cover for 230 bucks. Uh, local puddle lights for 239. And then and luggage luggage net for the cargo area for 110. 1295 for destination, bringing you to 49376. That rattled me, guys. I saw that park that that steering wheel button and that 360 camera button, and it threw me off. It's a it's a fluke. There is your uh, map uh, pocket right there, and then also right here. And then you do also have vents back here in the back, a little storage bin right here, two USB-C connections right here, and then a three-prong plug right prong, uh, plug in right there. There's a look from the armrest up to the front, the giant panoramic sunroof. I'll go ahead and open that sunshade again so you can see that. The door inset back here has more of that contrast stitching there. Arm pad right here trimmed out in gray as well. Same with over here. Adjustable headrests on all three seats. Fold down armrest in the middle. This is how you know you got a new car. Cup holders right there. Squishy yet firm. These seats are 60-40 split and fold flat. And then you also have two USB-Cs. I'm sorry, <laughs> two car seat hookups here and over here. Man, that really rattled me there. There's a look at the leg room I have back here. Lots of leg room. This seat does recline as well. I have easily a foot of knee space back here in the back. I'm just wearing regular color band socks today. Nothing fancy. Uh, so much leg room and head room back here. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof again. And as we go to the back here, here's a look at those alloy wheels. And between the T and the L is the switch to open the hatch. Front license plate bracket right here, cargo blocks here, monster mats right here, and your carpet pieces right there for when you fold the seats down. They bridge the gap between this floor and the back of the seat so you don't lose items in between the, the uh, seat and this floor here. Privacy cover is already installed right there. There's a look through from the back to the front. Giant panoramic sunroof, instrument cluster, what have you there. Incandescent bulb for the trunk lights here. And then you also have a bag hook here and here and a 12 volt charger port right here underneath the floor you can lift this guy up there's your spare tire right there and jack apparatus is off to the side this is a just an adjustable lift gate so you can adjust the height of it there there was the button to push this car will come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from volkswagen that includes two years of free maintenance included automatically this particular car has a third year of prepaid maintenance included as well so you're going to get three years of free maintenance on this car or prepaid maintenance I should call it and then uh, we were going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance free oil changes on this car so your 10 20 30 40 50 and 60,000 mile oil changes are free of charge now those last three are free only at my dealership so you'll have to travel to my dealership to pick up those last three also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in this car or another one like it, please give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.